Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're practicing American pronunciation and intonation with yes and no questions. A yes and no question is a question where the answer is either yes or no. Example, is she late? Yes, she is late. Or no, she's not late. The intonation goes up at the end of a yes or no question. Is she late? We're going to practice the intonation and the pronunciation. When you say, is she? The S before the SH sound, you don't hear the S. You hear, is she? Is she? Is she? Other examples of this, when you say, tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. You don't hear the S before the SH. We don't say tennis shoes. We say tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Other example, dress shirt. We don't say dress shirt. We say dress shirt. Dress shirt. Dress shirt. So you don't hear the S. So the yes or no question. Is she late for work? We don't hear the S in is. You hear is she. Is she late for work? With the word late, we have a T at the end after a vowel. So it is a stop T. We stop the air. We put our tongue up and stop the air. Late. We don't say late. Late. Is she late for work? For is not stressed, so we change the pronunciation to fur. Fur. Is she late for? Is she late for work? Is she late for work? And when you say work, don't make a strong k sound. Stop. Work. Stop the air. Work. Make the position of the K and stop the air. Work. Is she late for work? Is she late for work? We stress important words. Late is the important word. Is she late for work? And the intonation goes up at the end for a yes or no question. Is she late for work? Yes, she is late for work. Let's practice asking the questions. Ask me the question. Is she late for work? Yeah, I think she's late for work. Ask the question. Yes, she is. She's running. I think she's late for work. Another example of a yes or no question. Is she watching a movie tonight? Is she watching a movie tonight? Again, we have is she. We don't hear the S in is. We hear is she. Is she. Is she watching a movie tonight? Is she watching a movie tonight? Watching. Uh, we don't say watching. You can make it watching. Watching. Link the words. Watching. Uh, Watching a movie, or you can say watching, watching, watching a movie. Both are correct. Is she watching a movie tonight? Is she watching a movie tonight? Tonight. We never say tonight. Usually it's tonight, tonight. But this T is between vowels, so we can change it to a D. Tonight. Is she watching a movie tonight? Movie da, to, movie tonight. So you can say, is she watching a movie tonight? Or is she watching a movie tonight? Both are correct. We stress important words. Watching is the verb. We stress watching. And movie is the noun. Important words we stress. Is she watching a movie tonight? Is she watching a movie tonight? And the intonation goes up at the end because it's a yes or no question. Is she watching a movie tonight? Is she watching a movie tonight? Let's practice. Ask me the question. Is she watching a movie tonight? Yeah, she's watching a movie tonight. Ask me the question. Yeah, she's watching a movie tonight. Another yes or no question. Is she leaving work early today? Is she leaving work early today? Is she? Again, we don't hear z is. We hear is she. Is she? Is she leaving work? Leaving work or leaving work? Is she leaving work early today? Early today. Here we have today. We never say today. You can say today. Or in this case, the T is between vowels. So you can change to a D and say today. It's a fast D. Early today. Early today. Early today. Early today. Or you can make a T sound. Today. Early today. Early today. Early today. Is she leaving for work early today? Or... Is she leaving for work early today? Is she leaving for work early today?
we stress important words. Leaving is the verb, and early expresses the time. It's important. Is she leaving for work early today? Is she leaving for work early today? Is she leaving for work early today? And the stress goes up at the end because it's a yes or no question. Is she leaving for work early today? Let's practice. Ask me the question. Is she leaving work early today? Yeah, I think she's leaving work early today. Ask me the question. Yeah, she is. She's leaving work early today. Our next example of a yes or no question. Is she coming over soon? Is she coming over soon? So here is she. We don't hear the S. We hear is she. Is she coming over soon? And coming over. You can say coming over or coming. Coming over. Is she coming over soon? And we stress important words. We stress the verb coming. And because coming over is a phrasal verb, we're going to stress both words. Coming over. Is she coming over soon? Is she coming over soon? And the intonation goes up at the end because it's a yes or no question. Is she coming over soon? Is she coming over soon? And the answer is yes. She's coming over right now. Let's practice. Ask me the question. Is she coming over soon? Yeah, she's coming over right now. Ask the question. Yeah, she's coming over right now. Our next example of a yes or no question. Is she going to call you about the job? Is she going to call you about the job? Again, is she? We don't hear the S. Is she going to? We don't say going to. We say going to or gonna. So going to. Is she going to call you about the job or gonna? Is she going to call you about the job? Slower. Is she going to call you about the job? Is she going to call you about the job? Link the words. You about. Is she going to call you about the job? You you about. Is she going to call you about the job? About the job. About. The T at the end of about is a stop T. So put your tongue up and stop the air. About the. Link the words. About the. About the job. About the job. Is she going to call you about the job? And the B in job, you don't have to make a complete job. B, b, b. There's no B sound. You just kind of stop. Job. Job. Is she going to call you about the job? We stress important words. We stress call. Call is the most important verb here. Is she going to call you about the job? Is she going to call you about the job? And the intonation goes up at the end. Is she going to call you about the job? And the answer is yes, hopefully. Let's practice. Ask the question. Is she going to call you about the job? Yeah, she's going to call me about the job. I hope. Ask me the question. Yeah, she's going to call me about the job. I hope. Thank you for watching. And if you want to improve your American pronunciation and practice speaking more, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.